Station 2 sa Cubao Tapos I'm gonna go to Santola Station at the very end Wait until all the people exit Tapos shoot ako ng empty MRT para sa backplate ko Sa ngayon yung Akali Cosplay Shoot Akali TDA Cosplay Shoot namin ni Dini So nandito ako ngayon kasama ang aking intern Si Alvin Ayan Actually pretty quick Nagawa namin agad yung shot We sat at the very end of the MRT MRT 2 ngayon, walang tao po dito. And tama ang advice ni Alvin since taga dito siya, walang tao, di ba? Oh, wala. So, nakaw po lang kami dito ngayon. I was able to take the shots na, and then ito, nakapagpili pa ako ng content. So, mission accomplished pretty quick. So, pag-clinic patan na muna kami ng fans ni, ni Alvin na last po. Ngayon na po, smasher na ang hituan. source ng coral reef or whatever effects sa, sa Cartimar. So ngayon, nandito tayo sa studio to shoot special effects for the backgrounds and foregrounds and you know, whatever that's needed to complete our cosplay shots. Ngayon, alam nyo wala akong boses dahil galing na ako sa sipon. Sorry na lang. So we'll try to subtitle this kung hindi nyo ako maintindihan. Okay? Yeah. So nahanap ko to sa Cartimar. Ito sa closest thing na coral-ish na pwede ko magamit as foreground o yung tatapakan ng Mera for my Mera cosplay shoot. So, this is that. Tapos, ikilawan natin ito ngayon. Katulad na setup na ginawa ko during the shoot ko with Dini as Mera. No amount of strep cell is gonna f***ing save me now. No? Bush shit. You can bleep all this shit afterwards. It's YouTube anyway. So, pag-pwesto lang natin siya dito. Tapos, we'll do some macro photography. Kasi, pepekein natin to. This small thing will become a big mound of a coral reef. Kuno. So when all the shoots are done, sa studio and location, so we're now at the post-production process. As you can see, um, I have uh, Bridge turned on. My guest editor, si Yuna. Say hi, Yuna. Say hi, Yuna. Mm, yo. Say hi, Yuna. Yan. Okay, so um, we're now gonna pick out the shots for Mera and Akali. So after natapos yung shoot ng studio sessions ko for Widini, for Mera and Akali, so, ginawa namin, I also, like you said, sa mga previous clips ng videos ito, I went to the MRT station, pumunta ako ng Cartemar, and we shot the materials in studio. So, those are all separate sessions. The challenge in doing these kinds of cosplay shots are combining all sorts of sessions ma and material shots and putting them together at post-production. So, you have to imagine, when you, do your, when you do the lighting for each of the components, specific siya, that when you combine the shot, it looks like one light source, all right? So for every cosplay shoot that we get to do, I prepare what you call an FA guide. So you can see in my previous um, tutorials, ko, na I prepare a PowerPoint presentation containing my guide to the digital imager on what to do. Aking, ano, what you call final artwork guide or FA guide. So I went to the video, I got some screenshots of the music video and immediately ni isip ko for the solo ni Akali will be the MRT. So as you, as you could see, yung pinagdaanan naming um, incognito shoot and all that kasama si Alvin para mashoot to. So ito yung base peg namin. Alright? So ito yung base look and feel. So finally, when you look at the, the shots, image number 48 is yung selected main image ko. And image number 4 is the selected background. Mga image numbers na yan, I renamed them accordingly. 
Okay, so trip ko lang. So, sa Saga. So, pause muna tayo dito. And then, we go to the background shot. So, if you notice, I have several images that I took. Since nandun lang yun ako, might as well take lots of backlinks. One of the challenges that we had to look at at post-production was if you enlarge this image, sarado yung pintuan on the left. Pero bukas yung pintuan on the right. And the shot where Akali was, it was a moving subway. E dito, static lang. On the left side, sarado yung pintuan. And on the right, bukas. And if you notice, Akali was on a moving subway. E dito, static. I, sh I shot this sa dulo ng station ng Santolan. May kita mo, Santolan Station. Ayan, sa, sa corner na yan. So, ang challenge was, paano mo magagawa na moving subway to? Alright? So, ayan siya. So, let's get out of this folder. Pasok tayo sa main shoot ko. Yeah, that's how OC I get. I segregate the raw files and the preview JPEGs in separate folders. I don't know how you wanna do your system, pero ganyan ako. And I use Adobe Bridge to organize my files. Some people use Lightroom, which is better actually, if you if you ask me. Pero nasani na ako using Bridge uh, to fix uh, to fix and organize my shots. I made my selection already, so and daming mga Dini did about 55 shots according here. Dini underscore Akali 55, and 48 is my selected image. So yan yung appealing shot namin. So this is the raw, unedited photo of Dini. So coming back into my presentation, so image 48 is selected image ko and image number 4 is the selected background. So iyan na yung mga nitty gritty things that I want the digital imager to work on. So post production na to. Rough composite, then rough out lang si Dini sandali and then you know using the basic magic wand tool. Uh, kung, mag, kung maayos naman yung pagkailaw nyo, it's easy to drop them out mabilisan. So even for me na hindi naman ako ganun kagaling sa Photoshop, madili yung matanggal sa yung background. So nandiyan na siya. So this is the rough composite na naisip ko for, for the shot. And then yung kanyang spray can, since ibang brand yan, so gawin natin KDA. So yan, hanap ng KDA logo online. Pato mo doon. And then, ito na yung revisions na pinadala sa akin ng no digital imager, si Ryder. So may mga ilang points na ako na gusto kong baguhin to build on it. I wanted to enlarge Dini a little bit more. And the challenge was is closing the door on the right side. So ginawa namin, mini-error effect namin siya. Kinuha namin yung pintuan on this side and then we transferred it on the right by flipping the image over. Diba? So ang galing ni Ryder, diba? Puk -puk na <laughs> patong na niya. Other character references for Akali is here. So just, just in case lang na gusto tingnan ni Ryder yung mga iba pang poses ni Akali. So from here, we're moving on to Mera. So, for the second part of this tutorial, pinagsama ko na kasi yung tutorial to given na we did this, yung main shoot with Dini, we did it in one session already. So, uh, might as well put together. I know, for the... Might kaya ba? Wala lang. Okay, okay. But anyway, so the second part naman ng tutorial na to is the Mera uh, guide that I made. So, as you can see, I did another PowerPoint presentation. Uso lang naman ako, naghanap ako ng closest color at saka pegs para lang medyo presentable ang ating ano, ang um, presentation natin. Presentable ang presentation. Okay. Tum -tum. But, ayun. So, there's no actual peg to be copied or replicated. Unlike mga ibang comic book panels or covers, may basis tayo or kasi yun ay art direction ng comic book artist. But here, we we're looking at the movie. Alright? It so happens na yung photographer ni Aquaman is Michael Muller, which is also the photographer for a lot of superhero movies. Particularly X-Men, um, Avengers, Deadpool, and all that. So he's really known to shoot superheroes. He's, I'm a big fan. Michael Muller and how I wish to meet him one day if I do see him in San Diego Comic Con kung if he ever goes there you know hope to see you there sir so ito yung shot niya of Mera so I'm just getting this as an inspiration because there's no actual thing and this is our shot so as you could see ang specific instructions ko to Gani our digital imager was to make the image a little bit more grand in feel kasi if you notice sa framing ko nito 
um, Dini occupied a good part of you know the shot. Pinatungan pa lang yung basket, de ba? Kasi wala lang may iba pang patungan sa studio, so ayan. So image 48 is the selected image, selected base image for this. So you see this image 48, and then ang iba pang instructions ko dito is to add more headroom to sa above niya to make it more grand. So above the trident, add more ano, add more headroom space. And if you notice, this is the peg of the composition that I'm looking for, similar to sa Aquaman poster. So ako din, medyo particular din ako sa dimensions sa output nito. So the output happens to be 300 dpi, 5000 by 7,500 pixels. So, kain naman ng camera. This is, um, by the way, I used an EOS R to shoot this. So, kaya ng EOS R to output to this kind of ano to, detail. So, the next set of instructions ko na naman ngayon is to shoot the corals. Okay, to, to merge the corals into the shot. As you noticed also, nakita niyo sa video ko sa Cartimar, naghanap tayo ng corals or corals. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> Yung mga pang decorate na aquarium so ayan sila so we'll pause this and pause this deck and we can go out and see where the shot is so ito yung corals natin so if you notice i did several versions pinaikot ko yung coral yung coral reef quote on quote binili ko lang actually isa i wanted to buy more but i couldn't find similar looking um rock formations so i just had to make do with one so a challenge diyan pan mo ibahin yung look and feel ng isang piece of aquarium decoration. In short, pinaikot ko lang. So, pinaikot ko siya and at the same time, inilawan ko ng blue. So, I was shooting blue highlights on this to reflect yung underwater feel nung shot na yan. So, ayan, I'm sc scanning through all the shots. So, one version of this, tinanggal ko yung corals. So, I was just left with a barren looking reef na lang instead. So, you could see, I was just scanning through all of these back and forth, back and forth. And, pinapaikot ko lang yung coral and shooting, shoot ko siya in every angle possible. Now, the other challenge here is you're shooting a miniature. Iba ang depot field yan compared to shooting a live person na mas malaki ang proportion. So, how do you combine them together? So here, I was using a smaller aperture para mas lumalim yung depth of field ko. So I was shooting somewhere around f16, f18 dito. And I was of course using stronger lights so that mapantay ko yung exposure with with yung shoot ko kay ano, kay Denny. So yeah, so I was going through these uh, corals over here. Yeah, so enough of that. So these are material shots that I I did. I come back to my presentation. So here we are. So put coral formations on the foreground. So, so the job ngayon ni Nigani is to get selected coral formations and you know, um, compose them together so it forms a small mountain. Now, as for the hair, as you could see in the final image natin, lumilipad yung hair ni Dini. After we did the model shoot, after she left, the stu uh, after she stepped down from the apple boxes, we got her wig and placed it on a headstand. You know, buti na lang din, may dala silang uh, wig stand rather for the hair. So, ayan, ang aking faithful assistant, si Roj, doing all these hair flipping stunts by just, you know, throwing the hair up there. So, puta tayo ulit, tayo, balik tayo sa bridge ko, labas natin yung hair shots. And these are several shots of the hair. So, ayan. So, as you could see, we were flipping the hair in one direction. Uh, to where I want to the hair to flow. So, ayan. So, I was capturing different uh, states of the hair. Lumilipad siya, goes down, and as it goes up. So, iba din yung physics nun. So, combining those together will give you a flowy feel when it's quote-unquote under water. And then, I come back to my presentation. So, ayan siya. And now, I am not an underwater photographer. Wala po akong gamit to shoot things underwater. I love to borrow, you know, uh, water cases and all that. But it so happens that, you know, I have a couple of friends who do open water diving and they do this madalas in Anilao, in Batangas. And they were nice enough na, guys, can I borrow, borrow talaga, borrow some shots as a background. So, a friend of mine, si Reggie Rodrigo, he's a leisure diver. So, he shoots underwater shots using an EOS M and he was able to shoot a couple of corals and fish and these are just shots that he does as a hobby 
Putin lang he was nice enough to lend me some of these some of these images to use as backplate to add into uh, the background. Okay. So, so here are other character references for Mera that I had up also different artists and even something that was shot or a screen capture or still of the movie. So yeah, so when all said and done and we finished the shots, so these are the final images we came up with. So this is Akali. So yeah, so you could see the final version already with the flipped uh, MRT and the speed lines. Okay. And then, of course, Mera, when we started merging um, the coral shots, the coral reef shots, uh, the hair shot, the trident, and of course, Sydney. And of course, your background shots, new water shots, ni Reggie. Ayan. Guys, ayun, that's how we pulled off our Mera and Akali shots. So, if you notice, it took several sessions over a span of one to two weeks um, getting to do all these pictures. So we did some stuff in the studio. We went to the MRT, the Carte Marcame, and bought some stuff and uh, shot more materials in the studio. And to put things together, those are the final shots. All right. Now, if you like this video, please hit like. Please hit like. And if you have any comments or questions and even suggestions on how we get to do our cosplay videos and, and you know and cosplay shots in general, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right. So. Ayan, and also don't forget, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Thanks so much, guys. Jay out.